how's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Battle video. If you enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and look out for more Wi-Fi battles here to come throughout the week. I'm still on vacation. I should be back by Saturday, the latest, but you know. I have these scheduled uploads for your viewing leisure. But anyway, so today's battle is a kind of an interesting match just because my opponent, let's just say that she's not that competitive in this battle. Uh, she's probably new to the competitive scene from my understanding, but that's okay. I just wanted to post this battle because it was actually entertaining. Um, we're using a seismitoad a Buffalant, an Offensive, Sylveon, Hong's Crow, Verizon, and Gengar. The only things I have to worry about for my opponent are actually going to be, uh, I would probably say either Blaziken, Lockeos, or Manectric, because everything else I can take on relatively well. So, um, if you see the screen there, we're going to start, well actually, I'm going to start with my uh, Seismic Toad just to get the Stealth Ops up. And I can maybe get up a knockoff or two to knock, to knock off some items here. Um, but we do see for Alligator not holding an item, and that's actually okay. Now, I do actually question him going for the Ice Fang there. But granted, Seismic Toad do carry uh, Water Absorb as an ability to drain all water type moves. But he doesn't know that right now. So it's kind of weird. You're going to see this a lot. Uh, we do get up our Stealth Box on the next turn. Now we're going to switch out and go into Verizon because Verizon is a Grass type. It's going to work out really well against the likes of Feraligator. Um, I knew he was going to switch. I knew that, but like, just in case he wanted to stay and go for an Ice Punch or anything weird, I'm going to go for a Leaf Blade and we cast Blaziken on its way in. And I knew it was also going to go Mega, but it needs to take an extra turn to get to the Mega Blaziken speed. Thus, I will outspeed Blaziken and just knock him out with the Zen head, but I don't miss it, fortunately. Um, it's like 90% accurate, so that 10% kind of comes to bite me at times. Not very good, right? Now, next up, we have Rampargos. I wasn't really sure what to expect from Rampargos. I don't fight many of those things, but we do see Flamethrower. I've never seen that on a Rampargos. Um, the, the last time I faced a Rampargos was back in Black and White. Black and White 2. And I know they're mostly physical attackers, so that was kind of bizarre. Now, I do click a uh, knockoff. I do cash Lockeos on its way in. It's not holding an item as well, but it's super effective damage. I could have stayed in and gone with another uh, knockoff attack, but you know, the uh, dragon type move is coming, or so I thought, but you know, Psychic comes in to hit Catherine. You guys know this, Sylveon. It's an offensive variant, holds the Pixie Plate to boost up Hyper Voice, and it's also boosted by Pixelate, the ability of Sylveon there. So, combine that with Choice Specs, that's just power through the roof, and we take out Bravery, no problem. Because Stealth Ox were up, it's going to take a lot of HP, it's good. It's all good. Now I do want to stay in, go with a wish, and hopefully pass it to my Verizon on the next turn. He, he does go for Ice Fang. I knew it was probably going to target Verizon coming in, but my opponent surprisingly goes for Crunch. Uh, I'm not sure why. But this is awesome because I get my justified boost in just getting hit by that crunch attack and I get the wish come true from Catherine, the Sylveon. Amazing. 
So someone is going to take a hit that's going to be super powerful. And uh, I was actually surprised that Rampardos is able to take one Sanghai, but, but that's okay. We're going to outspeed it anyway because Rampardos is not that fast. So you tried, but not going to work out. I do want to spread the love around. Um, it's most likely that this uh, electric here will outspeed me. So expecting an electric type move or something like that. We're going to go into Shadow Lark the Gengar. Unfortunately, it gets paralyzed. And this is actually going to be a nice sequence of events here. So I get paralyzed and he goes for Bite, uh, which is a little bit weaker than Crunch. And I get flinched with 2 HP to survive 2 and he misses the thunder there. And so I don't get paralyzed in that turn. And we get a nice chunk of damage to the electric, but we fail to KO it. Oh my god. So that means we were that close and um, Shadow Lark goes down. That was pretty awesome. I was actually happy with that result just because it was all epic and stuff. He misses another Thunder. I'm like, okay, you should run Thunderbolt instead of Thunder because Thunder is like 75% accurate. I don't know, man. I don't know. But we're going to Revenge Kill with Hornet, the Bouffant. Go with the Head Charge. This is actually a, a Silk Scarf. I have Wild Charge for super effective damage. But, um, I want to use my Harsh Crow as well. This is a battle where I get to use all of my Pokemon and they get to show off their potential. That's the whole goal behind this match. And so, we're going to wrap it up here with my last Pokemon being, uh, Harsh Crow. And yeah, I am winning like 5 to 1 right now. Um, it's just my last Pokemon that I'm using throughout the whole battle is going to be Harsh Crow. It's not like I'm... I'm down any Pokemon, so you know, and he gets another paralysis from the Dragon Breath, and that is actually a 10% chance. What the heck? And just in case, just in case he went for like a Dragon Dance or something weird predicting, the Sucker Punch, I just go for a Steel Wing, and we finish off our opponent. So that was an interesting match, especially the part where uh, Gengar and uh, the Manechek were squaring off. That was really awesome. So, hope you guys enjoyed the match. Be on the lookout for another battle here shortly. And have a great day. Alright, have a great day, trainers. Wow, I just said that. Okay, later. <laughs>